Hey guys, welcome back to Gamer Bargains. My name's Jarrett, welcome to my channel, and today I'm going to teach you how to mod your RX 5600 XT so you can gain a little bit more hash rate and drop that wattage just a little bit. So let's get right into it. So you can see that I'm in HiveOS right now, and I'm at 43.1 mega hash, which if you look up here on my, on my graph right here, I was at 39.58, some 39.5 zeros. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is, is you're gonna wanna click Stop Miner. You're gonna wait for the command to go. The command went. You're then going to go to your overclocking sheet. You're gonna click download vBIOS. You will then choose which uh, 5600 XT you wanna use. I'm just using, I only have one, so I'm just using just this one. You click right here. You can also save it to your farm. So you can click save, you'll click download. And then after you click download, this will appear. It'll say RX 5600 XT. Um, dot rom you'll click this it will appear in your downloads so the next thing we need to do is is i'm going to leave a description a link in this in the description below is is this is the red panda mining video on the rx 5600 xt he did it in windows i'm going to mod it in hive os because hive os is very simple to um, mod bioses and so um so you're going to come to red panda's mining video here and then, and then you look in the description, it's gonna say download custom R5600 uh, XT BIOS here in the mega folder. So you click that and you'll come here. You'll see this BIOS here with the 700 millivolts. You'll double click it. It'll appear down here in your downloads. So, so, so far we've, we've downloaded our BIOS and we've downloaded the modded BIOS. Now we're going to go to Igor's lab, which I'll also leave a description down, a link in the description below. And this is where you get a lot of your tools like more power and the red BIOS editor and the flash tool for Windows. We don't need the flash tool for Windows because we're flashing in Hive. So what you do is here is you're gonna click this. It's gonna download to your downloads. So we'll pull up our downloads and you're gonna see the uh, RBE setup.exe. You're gonna double click it and it's gonna run the installer. So after it runs the installer, it's gonna come up here on, I, I just made mine for default desktop where, where it already chooses to go. So then you're gonna double click it. This is what it's gonna look like when it comes up. You're gonna to wanna to click load. Now you're gonna have your stock BIOS here. You're gonna to wanna to open that one and then you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to your sub ID here and copy this, write it down, you know, do whatever, which way works best for you. Now we're gonna click load again, but this time we're gonna choose the 700 millivolt one we got from Red Panda Mining. We're gonna click okay. We're going to change our sub ID to what it really is. We're gonna click save. We're gonna click modded. Now I changed mine to, to modded, so that way I know that this is the final version. So I know it's modded, so I'm gonna click save. Now it's saved now, so now we're gonna come back to Hive OS, you're gonna click Flash BIOS. You're going to open up the file with the modded BIOS. You're then gonna choose the GPU you wanna target, which is GPU zero, and then we're gonna do upload. Now I've already done it to mine, so I don't need to. So we're going to restart the miner, and then we'll wait for it to ramp up, and then you guys can uh, look at you know some of the, the mega hashes and what the, my, overclock settings are and everything. So these are my overclock settings. I haven't, you know, tested it super thoroughly yet, but so far I haven't had the card crash or, you know, or have to reboot or anything like that. So I'm at 1100 on the core, 700 uh, core millivolts, 750 memory controller voltage, 930 on the memory and 1290 on the memory voltage. Now my fans, I set to 50% because I'm in my house and it's more temperature controlled so it doesn't get very hot in here so um, I don't need the fans up really high where I am. I live in Washington so it stays pretty cool here most of the time. So those are my overclocks. 
And then um, I noticed that Hive doesn't report the correct wattage. It usually says like 115 uh, uh, watts. That's incorrect. Um, I will. I have a video on my phone because um, I just didn't want to use the web camera to try to take a get footage of that. So I'll try to upload that. Um, so I'm actually pulling 130 watts total for the entire rig, which is the motherboard, you know, and the RAM and CPU and the RX 5600 XT. So 130 watts. So I'm probably more like, you know, like 50 to 70 watts on there. So um, that's insane right there. You're getting almost 44 mega hash on such low wattage. So let's see if she's up and mining yet. There we go. 43.09 mega hash. So there you go, guys. That's a quick little two minute tutorial on how to BIOS mod your RX 5600 XT. Now, the only reason we downloaded ours is because we just wanted to keep the stock one just in case um, you don't have, there's some of the uh, 5600 XTs don't have a dual BIOS switch. So you're going to want to download that stock BIOS so that way you can reset it back. Um, because if you don't, you'll, you'll have tons of problems. So, and the other reason is, is we just wanted that sub ID. Um, I heard you don't need that, but I just, I just went like one step further anyways. Um, I think you only really need the sub ID for windows for like, you know, in case you have post errors and stuff like that or it won't post. So, um, that's my video guys. If you guys like the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.